Here's another example of finding a demand curve algebraically. A consumer's preferences are utility equals f times c plus 10f. The price of food is a dollar and the price of clothing is pc. This consumer has income of $100 to spend, foods on the horizontal axis, and let's derive this consumer's demand equation for clothing. The demand for clothing is going to be a function of the price of clothing and the consumer's income. We're going to be looking for a specific functional form. Now we know that the demand for clothing is going to take into account the consumer's optimal choice of clothing. We use our tangency condition to find the optimal consumption bundle. So the slope of the indifference curve is equal to the slope of the budget constraint, or the negative of the marginal rate of substitution equals the negative of the price of food over the price of clothing. The marginal rate of substitution is the ratio of the marginal utilities, and in this case I know that the price of food is $1. I'll go back to my original utility function to find my marginal utilities. Differentiating utility with respect to food, I get C plus 10. Differentiating utility with respect to clothing, I get F. I take this information and plug it back into my marginal utility ratio. C plus 10 over F equals 1 over PC. I'm going to solve for one of the variables, whichever one's the easiest. In this case, it's easiest for me to solve for F. So essentially here, I'm just cross multiplying. So here's one of the equations I'm going to use in order to ultimately find the demand equation. The other equation we'll use is the budget line. Budget line in this case is 100 equals 1 times F plus PC times C. And if you just wanted to drop that one entirely, that would be fine and just write down the F. Well, now I have two equations and two unknowns. I can substitute in 100 equals PC times C plus 10 plus PC times C. I can distribute in that first PC to get 100 equals PC times C plus PC times 10 plus PC times C. I can group my terms. 100 equals 2 PC times C plus 10 PC. I'm ultimately looking to solve for C, clothing. So I'll take 100 minus 10 PC equals 2 PC C, divide both sides by 2 PC, and here I have my demand equation for clothing. 100 minus 10 PC divided by 2 PC. Now if you wanted to go ahead and simplify this into 50 minus 5 PC all divided by PC, that would be fine too. Now we have to pause here for a second because the numerator of this demand equation contains a subtraction term. We need to rule out any values of PC that make this expression negative because of course we can't buy a negative amount of clothing. So the subtraction term appears in the numerator. We're really asking what price makes the numerator zero? Well 100 minus 10 PC equals zero is the way to find out and I'll solve for PC. What this is telling me is when the price of clothing is greater than $10, the numerator is going to be negative. And if the numerator is negative, we're going to buy no clothing. So the consumer's demand function for clothing actually is 100 minus 10 PC over 2 PC when the price is less than $10 and it's going to be zero when the price is greater than or equal to ten dollars. When the price is less than ten dollars we have an interior optimum solution and when the price is ten dollars or more there's going to be a corner solution where we buy all food and no clothing.